All right, I'm going to ask our next storyteller what makes you brilliant. Her response was faith and family. You all put your hands together and bring to the stage Amy. allow one to come up without the other two to come up so on September 11 2015 I decided to leave my career 15 years servicing clients with traumatic brain injuries to become an executive mommy a stay-at-home mother my oldest daughter Shiloh was born and then within the span of three more additional years I had Jedediah and Hezekiah in 2019 my mother went to uh, a routine eye appointment. At that eye appointment, we discovered that, not we, the doctor discovered, that she had a tumor growing on her pituitary gland. She needed emergency surgery. She was in the hospital for 57 days. 12 days, she was on a ventilator. I didn't talk to my mom, I didn't hear her voice. I then became a full-time caregiver for my mom and my children. During that time, I still found myself isolated, although we were going to 10 different doctors, several of them specialists, and still being there for my children. And then the pandemic happened. But even right before the pandemic, a great friend of mine, Lamitra Wagner, said, why don't you join me and go to um, one of the homes, Cody Rouge, for Brilliant Detroit. There, we met Dr. Seuss, we had story time, and we ate green eggs and ham. Literally, we ate green eggs and ham. And the children loved it. We left, and they said, Mommy, can we go back to that house? And I said, absolutely. Then the pandemic happened, but Brilliant Detroit didn't stop there. They continued. They were there with us. They continued um, to let me know that, that they were there in a time that so many of us faced Economic hardship, my family did as well as many, but I would worry, how would I feed my children? The simple basic things as diapers, how were they gonna get that? And Brilliant Detroit was there for us. We received fruits and vegetables, he received diapers, wipes, and so much more. The programs did not miss, they received um, reading programs through Center for Success, Book Nook, he did a cooking class, we did gardening classes. Um, there was so much that we did. And I remember going to one of the distribution days to pick up the material. They provided all the material for them. And I remember I was at the Fitzgerald location at that time and Lashanta looked at me and she said, are you okay? And at a time that we're not supposed to have touching one another, she just wrapped her arms around me and I broke down because I told her that I just had to make the most difficult decision of my life. Something that I have known for eight years, I had to begin to walk away from that to bring them a, a, a brighter future and even for myself. So I thank God for Brilliant Detroit and I just continue to pray that God continues to use this organization to do what they're called to do. Thank you Brilliant Detroit and everyone here. <laughs> 